Papas, and today we're going to be opening some Paca, Paca Pacas and a mystery mini and a whole bunch of stuff we got over this past week. So I'm going to open these first. I'll show off a couple of stuff, open two things, and then we'll go on from there. Okay, so I'll open one Paca Paca and then I'll go mystery mini and then Paca Paca. So, for these Paka Pacas, these are my first ones for this set. And this is the Munchie set. And this one is cool, because I like them, because they're like little chubby animals. And it's funny. Okay. Let's see what I get. And I, the only Paka Pacas I have are the, uh, which one? Toilet Ninjas? Yeah, Toilet Ninjas. Ooh, let's see. Who do we get? Who do we get? We got the cat. <laughs> this is funny. So yeah, so we got the cat. And this one's funny. And it's eating a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> I've never seen one of these. It's like meditating. <laughs> that one's funny. And it's meditating and it has a chocolate chip cookie. He's like, oh, um, eh, um. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, now we can open the mystery mini. Let's see. Um, for this one, I'm hoping I get the the zombie Black Panther, cause that one is a one in twenty four, and I really want that one. Or a Hulk, the regular one would be good. Magneto, or well, also I really like the uh, Deadpool. That one's pretty cool too. Pretty much anything that's on here. But, let's see. There we go. Ooh. Nice. So here we got Zombie Venom. <laughs> I like this one. I didn't think it was going to be this big. This is big. And it's a bobblehead. <laughs> I like this one. Its tongue is huge. Like, big. Really big. And it has like slime and all that like weird stuff. I like it. And you can see a skull and everything. Man, I like that one. See, look, compare size. This dude's tall. Wow. Well, that's cool. Um, that one is a one and six. So that's pretty, that's one of the more common ones. But it's okay. I like it. Um, it, none of them are really bad. Just, they call them that because they have to do different varieties and stuff. Let's see. Um, come on. Okay, there we go. Let's see who we got. Hopefully we don't get the cat again. I want the panda. There was a panda. Or there was a tiger, I think. Come on. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. I got the panda. Oh. <laughs> it's eating a lollipop, and usually you see it like this. So it's like laying down flat. <laughs> it's eating a lollipop, licking it, chilling with his, scratching his head and everything. <laughs> That's funny. So here we got the zombie silver surfer. And this one's cool. We got this one from Hot Topic today. Because it's a Hot Topic exclusive. And then this one is the Zombie Mysterio. And this one is the Glow in the Dark one. And this one, the glow is actually really good. Because, um, like, the green and, the like, his brain. And, like, the green on the inside. And some green on his chest. Like, the scratches. Those all glow. So, yeah. This one's really nice. Um, probably the favorite of these two is probably the Silver Surfer. Because I like it because he's like carrying up his head. And that one's pretty cool. And yeah, so here are the two zombie ones that we got. We have the whole line except for the Funko Shop exclusive. Which is the Zombie Magneto. And I really wanted that one, but that one's kind of pricey. Like 30 something dollars. But yeah, so here we got those two. Put those over there in a bit. Then we got the... Huckleberry Hound, 
the Holly Funko Hollywood, the shop over there, exclusive. And this one we got from Crazy Loco Toys, and we buy so much from him. Like, there's something good in later in this video that, whew, it's fire. So we got the, um, what's this, Huckleberry Hound, and that one's really cool. The difference for, like, this one is that he's carrying a Funko Hollywood bag. And whenever I saw this going up at his auction, I was like, I have to get that one because I want a Funko Hollywood so bad. Like, exclusive one. Okay, then the next one that we got from him is the Officer Freddy Funko. And this one I wanted because I like police officers. I really want to be one whenever I grow up. And then I really like Freddy Funkos. Like, I have a good, decent amount. Probably have, like, ten. But, yeah. So, none of them are really expensive. But So, there we go. We have that one. And this one is really cool. He's holding his, like, coffee mug. He's, like, waving. And that's pretty cool. I like it. So, yeah. So, those are the two that we got from him. I think there's, like, two or three more that we got from him. Cool. So, today, my mom went to Target. Because she was shopping for stuff. And she went to the Funko Pop section. And she found this. So, this was on sale today. For, like, $7. Which was a good deal. Because you get the pop. And then you also get the, like, his ping pong paddle kind of thing. And it's pretty cool. Let's see. I don't know which side to open it from. Really. Huh. I'm cutting it backwards. With the wrong side of the knife, but it still cuts. Okay, let's see. Where do we cut? Um, I don't really know which side of this opens. But... We got the Funko Pop. So here we got the Forrest Gump playing for the USA team ping pong tournament. And this one's cool. This is a Target exclusive. And this one's really nice. I like how he's holding like the ping pong ball and looks like he's ready to serve. So yeah, so that one's pretty cool. And um, I don't know it really what Forrest Gump is, but that one's really nice. So then we got the ping pong. So here we got the ping pong paddle. So the front, it says Forrest Gump with him on it. It says play ping pong like a pro. And then on the back, it says, I played so much ping pong, I even played in my sleep. And then it's like a quote from Forrest Gump. But yeah, so that one's cool. Um, I don't know if I'll play with it because I play ping pong sometimes. We had a ping pong, well, we have a ping pong table. Well, had. But so this one's really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's cool, look just like a souvenir, I guess. But yeah, so this one's nice. So here we have the Caddyshack one. And this is a Target exclusive as well. And this one uh, was $7 as well, I think. Yeah. So this one, it's a pop and a hat, actually. So, yeah. Um, this one is, I don't know what Caddyshack is. But I think it's like a movie or a series or something. But yeah. I've gotten one of these pops before. I've gotten Chubbs. I think it's part of that. I think so. Nice. Let's see. nice. Very, very nice. Ta-da. 
cool. So it says, let's see. <laughs> so here it says Bushwood CBC. I don't know what that means. But yeah, so there's that hat. It's red. I like it. This is actually a really nice hat. Let's see. I'll fix it later. But yeah, this is actually really nice. Let's see. Shade. No shade. Boop. Okay, now the pop. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. So this is the flocked gopher and this is a target exclusive and that one is nice actually you get a flocked pop and a hat wow that's good but yeah so there you go there's the gopher um like i said i've never seen this like show or something but yeah so i like this one i like because he has like his little tooth in the front his little itty bitty white place right there and it's cool Okay, so here we got the Disneyland Resort 65th Anniversary, and this is the Matterhorn Bobsled Mickey. And this one, I really like these pops, because I like the texture of the box. It's kind of like really soft and stuff, and they made the box look like really old. At first I thought they were cardboard, but they're not cardboard. They're like a soft plastic, almost like, not plastic, I guess a soft cardboard, I guess. But yeah, so that one... He's really nice and he's in the Matterhorn bobsled like outfit so that means he's like in his pickaxe kind of gear I don't know if he has it let's see yeah so I don't know if you can see right there but he has his little pickaxe right there but yeah that one's cool then we got some six inches here we got the giant man and this one I've actually wanted Ever since I saw it on the back of a pop box, I really wanted it. Because it looks really cool. Like, because <clears throat> this is whenever Ant-Man, like, whenever, whenever he gets small, he has to, like, press this, press this button. And he goes really big. And this is, like, his medium size. And they have a 10-inch of it. But, so that's, like, the big, big size. But, yeah, so I really like this one. And I like how they called it Giant Man. But yeah, so this one's really nice. Um, I've only watched Ant-Man and the Wasp. I haven't watched Ant-Man yet. But I've watched Ant-Man and the Wasp, and that one was pretty good. But yeah, so this one's really nice. And I've seen him in some of the movies, like um, Civil War. I've seen him in, like, Infinity War, Endgame, all that stuff. But yeah, that one was nice. That there. Okay, then we got... Oh, this one's really good. Here we got the Donald and Matterhorn bobsled. And this is the ride. And this is the ride from Disneyland. And this ride is only in Disneyland. So it's pretty cool. And this one, it's they had like two of them at each store. And luckily enough, we were able to go and get one. But yeah, I really like this one. Um, this one, it's like he's... On the bottom, he has like the tracks because they put it like a railroad almost. So it's like a tracks and tracks and tracks. But it's like a little soft area and they have like tracks right there with snow all over it to make it look like the abominable snowman is coming after them. But yeah, so this one's cool. I really like this one. Um, what else? Oh, and then also it's the soft box again, like that soft kind of like, I don't know, feel, I guess. But yeah. That one is cool. I like that one. Because there's some of the other ones. Like some other ones like those. But they're like expensive. Like some of them are 100 to $200. So those get pricey. Okay. Then. Here we got. Let's see. The Deadpool's Chimichanga truck. Oof, I like that one. So this one we got for a good deal. I think we got it for like 15 bucks. But yeah. So this one is the one that Deadpool is in his chimichanga truck. And he sells his chimichangas. And I'm going to read off the menu to y'all. So his menu is hot chimichanga, cold chimichanga, the best chimichanga, yesterday chimichanga, polywana chimichanga, burn chimichanga, evil chimichanga, and then sides are sugar honey iced tea, 
knuckle sandwich, cherry bomb, bag of chips, slice, and dice. So, yeah. So, that's everything. And he has, like, little chiles all over him. Like, peppers all over the thing. Like, all over his truck. And I really like this one. This was actually really cool. Whenever we went to go pick it up, I was like, yes, is that it? And I looked at it, I was like, man, this is so cool. So here we got the kiss the girl scene. So this is whenever, uh, I forgot what the boy's called, the dude. But, so this is whenever him and Ariel are all in love. And they're all in the scene where they're in the boat. And there's like a fish spitting the water out of their mouths and all romantic and stuff. So this is like whenever they're about to kiss, I guess. But yeah, so this one's really cool. I like how um, the crab, I forgot what his name was too. The crab is over there right there like being like, oh. And then Flounder, her fish, is right there spitting the water with the other blue fish. Which that was pretty funny. But yeah, so that one, I really like this one. My mom wanted this one a lot though. Like, she's a big fan of, like, Little Mermaid. So, yeah, we kind of had to get that one for her. Because whenever it came out... Oh, this is the other one that we got for our Crazy Loco toys. But, so, this one... I really like this one. Because that one is, like, whenever... Like, I don't know how to say it. Like, I like how the water is, like, shooting out of them. Because it looks kind of like crystals, almost. I don't know. But this one, I was excited about. Because I watched the Mandalorian series, and that was the, probably the best series I've ever going to watch. But we got the 10-inch, the chrome one, and this one is cool. So, I, this one is already expensive. This one's already like $50 in PPG. So, this one's only going to get higher because they came out with a season 2 of it. So, obviously, whenever the first season, whenever they make pops of that, those get expensive. The other ones, they come out with new pops, and then these get really expensive. Like, they have all chrome one for NYCC, and that one's like $500. So, yeah. Okay, now we get to the satisfying part. Yeah, this one is nice. I really like this one because he's holding Baby Yoda and the Baby Yoda is almost like a mystery mini. But yeah, so I really like this one. So here we got Carl. So we got Carl because we felt sad because we were about to get the Carl and Ellie 2 pack. And that was worth like 200 something dollars. But we were about to get it. And we were, he gave, he said no. And so we were like, man, we have to leave with something. So we went over there, and we got Carl. And this one is nice. I like it because he's holding his original cane with the tennis balls. That way it doesn't scratch the floor. And then he has his glasses, and then he has his little um, pin from grape soda. And that one's really cool. And this is the one wherever he's older. I think they have the one that the two-pack is whenever he's young, and the Ellie's young, too. And this one we got on sale from FYE. And we had an FYE at Town East. Right here where we are. Like where we live. But so we go there. We've only been there once or twice. But so we only went there like once before. Whenever they were open the first time. Because that's whenever we started to collect Funko Pops. And then we didn't even go. Because they closed because of coronavirus. And then we had to wait till they open, and now they're open. So we went, the day they were open, they opened, and then we went today. And they had this too, but we didn't get any because we obviously already had it. But yeah, let's see. I'm excited for this shirt. Probably wear this. Eh, I think I'll wear the other one. But, let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um... Okay, there it is. So, what is this shirt? It is your favorite Mogwai? Mogwai? Gizmo. And it says, let's see, I actually can't read it. It says, cute or crazy, never seen before as a gremlin. Careful, he bites. 
after midnight. <laughs> That's funny. I like this shirt. So here we got the original Gizmo. And this is the one I, I guess him as a gremlin. I don't know really anything about this show or anything. But yeah, I like this one. Um, you know which one I really want to have is the original regular Gizmo. Because if you had the flocked SDCC one that's limited to like 20 something pieces, that one is worth a thousand something dollars. So, if I had that one, I would be so happy. But obviously, we don't have that one. But I'm showing off my Sue Expensive Pops today. So, yeah, so here, Gremlin Gizmo. I mean, I don't even know who he is or anything. But yeah, I like that one. That one was from FYE. That was an FYE exclusive. And another FYE exclusive is the Claw Alien. I actually really want to see this pop. Um, yeah, that's satisfying. Very, very satisfying. But yeah, so this one, um, I looked at the pop and I was kind of confused, but not confused, which is kind of weird. Because they made a couple of other, like, Toy Story. Um, of these, like, other alien remix, or alien pops. How do you open this? How do you open it? I'm just confused. Oh, you're supposed to pull it out. Of there. You pull that out. Wow, it's a small hole. Do you expect me to pull a pop out of here? Wait a second. There, there. Oh, I just ripped it. Oof, blast off. Okay. Nah, uh, yeah, I'm wearing this shirt. For sure. I have probably 15 pop shirts. 15. That's actually not that many compared to some other people. Some people have drawers after drawers after drawers. Let's see. So it says, the claw... I have been chosen as the alien getting sucked up by the claw. I really like this shirt. Actually, this is a cool shirt. I have another shirt that's like this, but it is um, him like with other aliens. And it's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm excited about this pop, actually. Oh, oh I saw like the aliens. <laughs> this is a glow in the dark one. That one makes more sense. Because they made like two glitter editions. And I was like, there's no point in making two. And then this is going to be the third. But yeah, so here we have the Toy Story 4 Alien re oh, Remix. I have so many Alien Remix Pops that I think every single time I see an Alien, that's a Remix Pop. But no, so this is the Alien FYE Exclusive Glow in the Dark. And this one is cool. I'll probably put it in a pop protector whenever we get more. But yeah, so that one is nice. I really like this one. And I don't have a black light, so we can't really see it. But we got the Manny Pacquiao, and this is a Asia exclusive. And this one, I'll tell you the price whenever we finish this right quick. But this one is nice. So I like it because he has all his tattoos and everything. Like he has a tattoo on his arm, a tattoo on his chest. And this is cool. And so it says... Manny Pacquiao since 1978, Pac-Man, eight world titles and eight weight divisions. But yeah, so that is nice. But, so, this was made 2015, so this is five years old. But, the real thing is that this thing is worth $145. That's a lot of money, especially for that thing. But yeah, so that one's worth 145. This next one is not that much more, but it's more special to me, and I'm never gonna sell it, unless I need the money. But, this one I'm excited. Oh, uh, there we go. We got the Toucan Sam Fruit Loops Boko Shop exclusive. And this one, ooh, I paid full PPG. And this one we got from Crispy. Ooh, Crispy got it, and I said, 
I'm taking that. And this one was made in 2017. So this one's a little bit newer than this one. But so the price of this one is a hundred and sixty five dollars so like technically combined these two is technically all of those right there <laughs> so you know yeah so these are worth a lot and these aren't even my most expensive Funko Pops see like my most expensive Oh, my most expensive Funko Pop is this dude right here. He's right here. He just went up in value too. <laughs> we got this dude, Cheshire Cat, Mad Tea Party. You know, 2,000 pieces. There you go. That's my most expensive Funko Pop. Which is not that expensive compared to other people's collections. But he's worth $340. And on eBay, they're selling him for $500. And there's only like five of them, so that are selling, because a lot of people want to keep them. So this is probably going up to 500 bucks. So yeah, this one's good. We don't we don't have a pop projector on it. I want a pop stack for this, but we haven't found one yet. So yeah, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for the video. I hope you like these two grills. Um, we got these because we really wanted them. My dad. We really wanted, my well, dad and me really wanted this one, but this one I feel like is a little bit more me because I collect ad icons, like I go hardcore for ad icons. I have what, maybe, what, you say 40? Maybe 40? Good. 40? Yeah, 40 ad icons, and so this is a grill. Like he's going right there. But yeah, so yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for the video. And comment down below what's your favorite thing we got today? Um, my favorite thing that I showed off, really, Toucan Sam, it's the coolest thing. That's like my coolest pop now. Sorry, Cheshire Cat. This is my favorite pop. But yeah, so I guess we'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye.